Hi and welcome to this video. Today I want to share with you an issue I encountered when I tried to run the official Microsoft Square Server Docker on my MacBook with M1 chip. So let's start. So on my laptop I'm using the new M1 chip. You can check that with this command. I have also installed Docker for Apple. And you see the architecture here. It is the ERM, the new one. So Microsoft is providing an official Docker for SQL Server. You can pull it using this command. This is the command to pull the last Docker image from the Docker Hub. Let's run it. I have already done it, so I have the image. We can check that. So I have the image. So now I try to run this image to create a container from this image. We can use this command docker run and I'm providing a password, mapping the port and the docker image name. So let's run it. Unfortunately, we get this warning and we get the container ID. However, when we check here, nothing is running now. And you see that my Docker has been exited immediately after starting it. So it looks like that Microsoft is not yet supporting the new M1 ships. Now, almost two years after releasing the new ships, Microsoft doesn't manage to provide any support for that. However, there is an alternative for that. So an alternative to use the SQL Server Docker image, you can use the Azure SQL image. So this one is the cloud version of MS SQL Server. It is based on Microsoft SQL Server, but it has some restriction. So for example, you cannot use trigger. There is other privileges thing that you cannot do on the cloud. You can check the documentation for that. So to use this image, you have only to change the the name. So this is the name of the image provided by SQL Server for M1 ship architectures. Let's see what's happened. So the image is available. It takes some time because I'm doing that for the first time. So as already said, this version is working on the new M1 ships, but it has some restriction. But I would recommend that you use this one because this is the trend. This is what so all the applications are running on the cloud. So for developer, it shouldn't be a big deal. So we can check whether the image has been loaded. And we see that the image is also here. So as already said, there is a limitation on the cloud version of the SQL Server. You can use it until Microsoft decide to support M1 ships for SQL Server. So we can run this image like this. So you have only to specify the image name and give some uh, the password and, and so on. You can also check the documentation how to do this. This is the name. This will be the name of the container. So let's run it. And you see there is no error. We can also check. And we can see that SQL Server Azure version is running and you can use it. You can access it using GDB, GDBC or whatever, like the normal SQL Server. As already said, there is some limitation. This is due to specificity of cloud security. Relevant things are not working or they are disabled on this Azure. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and bye.